welcome to the traveling couple channel and we are at the Barber Rock Trail in Colton State Park and we are at Tioga County and we stopped here before we go to Petticoat Junction in Cedar Run. So over here is a one mile hiking trail and overlook. So we haven't done this yet so we're gonna do this. So here's the Pine Creek Trail right there and we are right here we're gonna hike this to do that trail and then down here is the Vista we're gonna check out West Rim Trail that is really awesome if you want to go backpacking I did that with the boys that was a lot of fun that was years ago but we're gonna do a little bit of hiking see the Vista and check things out so on this video we're gonna see hiking camping and bike riding be interesting to watch all right check with you soon here we're on the Barber Rock Trail it's very pretty out here here down a little bit from the trail we were on is the West Rim Trail that's what the West Rim Trail looks like and I want to show you this because it's beautiful down here I remember doing this with the kids it's amazing how you don't forget certain spots but here's a good spot you got to be careful that you don't I'm gonna just got to watch your stepping but I'm gonna walk down there to that tree and I'll show you better views of the Pine Creek Rail Trail I'm going to walk down there, honey. Is that the bike trail? Yeah, I'm going to walk down there. But if you walk down there, please be careful because it's, you know, steep. I made it to this tree so you can see a better view. Look at this, guys. Isn't this, this is what I love. This is awesome. Look at this view. This is off the West Rim Trail. And being on this trail, you see a lot of these views. It's gorgeous. And then down there, let me see if I can focus down there more for you, is the Pine Creek Rail Trail. So you ride your bike on that down there. And then down there is the creek. There's the creek along the side of the rail trail. I mean, it's just, it's just beautiful here. Now I got a, without falling, <laughs> Vince is just going to wait for me up there, so I'm going to walk back up that way again. I'll be right up, honey. Yeah. Should have brought my GoPros, but I didn't. I left them home because I was in a rush to get here. We kind of overslept because of work last night and ride night for the employees, so got here a little late. It's about 8 in the morning. I wanted to be here at 6 in the morning. But that's okay. We'll get everything in. Mountain laurel is blooming. We've got lots of mountain laurel going on here. Got some on this side. Got some on that side. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to walk down here and get me a better view. Just always be careful, go slow, and always watch your steps. So I'm going to turn the phone off, walk down there, and get a better view of the mountains. I have to walk down it's it's not it's too risky and I don't want to fall off <laughs> but you still got a beautiful view from up here so there you go I don't want to walk down there there's another view down this way but again I don't know I don't have good balance I used to when I was younger but now that I'm older it's risky Colton Point State Park. It talks about the West Rim Trail and all kinds of information. And I'll take you to the Vista. 
was our second vista. It's beautiful out here. It's drizzling a little bit, but not bad. Look at this, Vince. Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Hey, there's the bike rail trail, Vince. You can see it from here. Yeah, look. There's more of the rail trail. Pine Creek Gorge. Wow, it's beautiful. Look at that. You can see the creek better over here. Favorite place to be, Pennsylvania Canyon. Taking back roads from the Colton Point State Park, back roads all the way to Cedar Run. It's going to take longer to get there, a lot longer because of being on back roads, but we're taking these roads in case we see wildlife. So if we see wildlife, I'll just jump out of the vehicle and videotape them. I'd rather be in the woods. I don't want to be on no highway, so this is actually a better choice for us. So we're going to take a bunch of back roads. Kind of like off-roading, hey honey? <laughs> yeah. On our way to the Cedar Run, I found another vista off the dirt road. So we may see a lot of these different vistas. Pretty cool. I love taking back roads. You never know what you're going to find. This back road has a lot of um, switchbacks going on, but it's still a lot of fun. So now we are on West Rim Road. We're going to cross this bridge and go up this way. This is fun. Oh, there's part of the West Rim Trail right there, Vince. I remember going on that with the kids. Oh, yeah. So this is neat. I love that. That's like my favorite backpack trail that I ever did was the West Rim Trail. So I highly recommend that to anybody that wants to do a backpacking trip. That's But you need a couple days off for it. There we go. They got lots of different hiking trails on this um, back road we're on. But this road that we are on will take us right to Bradley Wales and that's a beautiful picnic area. So I'm definitely gonna get pictures of that. I never heard of these hiking trails out guys on our back road trip I found another Vista the Pine Creek Vista cool I love back roads check this out it's beautiful look at that a little smoky out there but it's still pretty Wow Vince is taking a nap well look pretty little flowers but look at that it's gorgeous could be prettier if Canada didn't have all them fires going on, but it's still pretty. Oh. Okay, let's see what else we can find on these back roads. We're almost to Bradley, Wales. Okay, we made it to Bradley, Wales. Picnic area. Stayed here for a little break. Vince had to go use the bathrooms and, oh look, maps. Let's go check the maps out. What kind of maps they have? 
I am going to grab me a map. Cool. It is starting to rain. So, it's over here. Oh, a better map. The West Wim West Rim Trail Pine Creek. I might as well take it. I'll check it out when we get to the campground. All right. Maybe we'll find an animal out here since we're the only ones here. <laughs> cool. Vista, guys. There's a vista down here. Let's go check it out. That's private property. So, we can't go that way. We can go this way. Honey, down this way is a vista. Walk down this way, see what we find. Here we are on our back road trip that we found another spot. As you can see, it's raining out. Is that our Jeep making that noise? Your wipers. Oh, is that my wipers? Yeah. Oh. Okay. We're like in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Let's move on. So here we found another vista on our road trip. The West Rim Vista. And it is beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that pretty, honey? And we are headed that way. And what route are we going on, Vince? We're 14 south. And that will take us to Cedar Run. Cool. Here we are, we're going into Petticoat Junction. One lane bridge. Can't see that good because daddy's window's up. Oh wow, honey, we've got to cross this bridge. Let me know if there's anybody behind us. I'm going to take a video of this. Feel good? People fishing off the creek. We're heading to Petticoat Junction. We opened up the canvas. We're gonna have to close it at night because what we notice is any animals can just sneak right in this thing, even with it zippered. So I think this is like extra protection at night, but in the daytime while we're here, we can leave that part open. But this is inside our glamping tent and it's very nice. We have a coat rack, a broom to keep it nice and tidy, our fan, nightstand we have a bug net then so you know what that means it means we might get bugs but that's okay i think that's a bug net isn't it could go around our bed i don't know i never used one of them yeah. we'll have to check it out we'll use it tonight and see how it works okay and then we got extra what's in this chest put my key over here let's see let's see what's in here oh that's just an empty chest. I guess if you want to put your clothes in there or something. Here's our little coffee maker. Our little table to sit at. And my honey's checking out the bed. The bed looks very comfortable. Nice view of the creek. How's the mattress feel? Good. Yeah. I like this. Oh, and look at the view we get. That is nice. Oh, wow. Very nice. Okay, and then we'll just bless you. Thank you. So we'll bring stuff out of the Jeep and start getting ourselves together here and get the bikes under the porch. This is our check-in gift for first-time visitors. I'm excited to see what we got. We got a thick and paper full of information. We'll open up that up then. This is so nice that they did this for us. Look at this. What is that? What this is colorful fire flames for the fire. Oh, well, that's cool to use. This is so neat. I really love this. Oh, look what they got us! Petticoat 
junction magnet, Vince. Oh, I really like that. Oh, and they got me um, easy, easy fire to help with the fire to get it going. Oh, and some candies. Oh. And in here, uh, see it's in here. Oh, let's see. Okay, this is um, a welcome to Petticoat Junction. We get free ice cream. Bring the coupon in. Oh, hold on. It says, bring the coupon in to the office, select the free ice cream of your choice. They got information for us, free Wi-Fi, and a little welcome note. That is so nice. Thank you, Petticoat Junction. We really like that. This is a very nice tent location. Very nice. Right off the Pine Creek Rail Trail. We haven't biked ride yet. I think we're going to hold off a little bit because we're tired from all the hiking we did on our first day. And uh, driving on the back roads. So we might go a little bit bike. There's a deer. Oh my God. I'll be right back. I found us a deer right across the, right across the creek. Let me see if I can get close to him. I'm gonna scare him. There he is. See him? He's right across the creek from us from where our pen is. Oh, is he just so cute? Oh, I really like him. Wouldn't it be cool if he just came into our tent and be our friend? <laughs> there he is. Beautiful. As we put our bikes there to keep dry, my little table, our two chairs, Vince just had a Rice Krispie treat. I put the canvas things back, and look at that. That is so cool, and there's our, there's our little house. Now the food and the drinks we're gonna keep in the Jeep because there's like a space here, see? You'll see it, that's not good. So definitely do not put food in this glamping tent. That would be a big no-no. But I'll tell you what, it's beautiful, I love it. They did a great job with that. And they have a whole bunch of them here on the side. And they also rent cabins. And they have a caboose train if you want to sleep in one of them. So maybe later I'll give you a tour of my e-bike around the whole campground. But there's more. And then past the glamping tents is the... What are them called? Oh, I forget the name of those things. But I'll show you. There's someone staying in one of them. But that's what they look like. They're cool to stay at, too. Okay, so it's really cool that we're right by the creek. Because I have a feeling we're going to see a lot of animals. I'm going to take you to the creek. Hey, we checked in. Um, it was a very easy check-in. The lady was really super nice, so I highly recommend this campground. They are so nice, and they even give you a little gift bag if you're a first-time visitor. I thought that was really nice. And she showed me her new um, store that they just built. And they have nice little, you know, things that you need for camping if you run out. This is our cedar glamping tent that we're going to be staying at with our bike trip. We might do a little biking today because of the rain. We're still going to bike ride in it. But we have to put stuff in the glamping tent first. So we are like right here off the creek to go tubing. So that comes in handy. So we start our tubing there. And the tubing ends at the other end of the campground. Walk out and do it all over again. But we're going to probably wait till tomorrow to do that. If it gets warmer. So we'll see what happens. I think, is that right there the rail trail, honey? That right there, I think, up there is the rail trail. Oh, so if we yeah. go, yeah, we're not far from it. So that will show you our tent, our picnic table. So when I make my steaks, we'll leave the wood in the Jeep, honey. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm, I have a little, I don't know if I'm allowed to, to cook under this with my little propane stove. So I was going to put it there and cook on it. You know what I mean? Why not? If it don't quit raining. We'll see. It might quit raining in a couple hours. 
But we'll get you guys in our tent and show you what it looks like. But I do like this roof because this is where our bikes are going to go. Under yeah. this roof. Okay. I set up my bug net because I found a flying bug in here. And I'm sure there'll be more tonight. <laughs> so this will protect us at night in case any bugs will fly in here. Because there's like cracks where they can get into. So there you go. We're inside our little bug net. First time we use one of these on our bed. And then... On the side here, that's how you get into your bed. Cool. Vince is still out on the front porch. Here we got our coffees that they got us and some cream and sugar. And I brought extra from the house. I don't see tea, but Vince likes tea, so I brought tea bags with us. So that will come in handy for Vince, where I don't have to use the propane stove to boil water. And I got our own water, so this will definitely come in handy. We leave our shoes out there so we don't get this place muddy. And we'll just wear our Crocs in here where it's nice and clean. I want to make sure this place is clean before we leave tomorrow. Or not tomorrow, but the next day. I don't want it to be messy. And we are using this. I put our stuff in here. That comes in handy. So now I'm going to unpack and wait for the rain to slow down if we're going bike riding. Because right now it's raining a little too hard. So, I gotta wait until it slows down. Right, Vince? What's up? Gotta wait for the rain to slow down before we bike ride. The creek, you gotta walk down this path right here. And it's like right next to our tent. I'll take you down here to the creek. All right, we are ready to go on our bike ride. The rain slowed down day one on the bike ride. So we're only going to do about maybe 15 out, 15 back in because it's pretty late today. The time is like around 3 maybe. Something like that. And I still got to make dinner. I'm going to make Ben's steak. So we're going to head out of the campground and we're going to go up to the trail. Right now we are at Bull Run, so I think we're heading towards the Turkey Path Trail. I think we're heading down that way. I don't know if we're going to go that far. Here's a nice little waterfall. Come on, guys. It's cute. And over here, this is the Bull Run area. We are at Rattlesnake Rock Access Area. So this is where you could park at up that way. It's a parking lot. And they got maps up there. You can come down and bring your bike this way. And now we're going that way. And Vince should be on his way. I don't know what happened. Oh, there goes Vince. I always got to keep an eye on my husband. Here he comes. Hi, hon. little waterfall runoff. Okay, on the rail trail I found Ludwig's Trailside Bed and Breakfast. Here's the phone number. 
if you want to stay at this place. It's right on the rail trail. So I'm thinking one year me and Vince is going to check this place out. But they have um, a pamphlets. I grabbed one to get more information about it for later. But yeah, I think next year that's where we're going to stay at. See how it is. Here is Hoffman Campground. They have a pavilion. That's pretty cool. We'll walk down and show you the Hoffman Campground where you can stay at while you're on the rail trail. One day, year, we'll probably stay here one year or two. Each year we'll stay somewhere different. We'll probably take the bike down. Put it on pedal assist three. Yeah, but it'll make our batteries drain faster. Alright. Yeah, I want to try to go as far as I can before the battery dies. We'll show you the campsite. The Hoffman Campground. This is what it looks like. Very, very nice. They really take care of this campground. Now, I don't know if this is free or not because of the rules of Pennsylvania with primitive camping. So I don't know how it works for this one, but if you Google it, you'll be able to find out how it works. They got bathrooms over there. It's really nice here. And I like that they have water, but it's not tested, so you'll probably have to boil it or add them water drops to it or filter it. With the, one of those filters that you use for backpacking. And I like this place because they even have a pavilion. If it's raining, you have somewhere to cook at. So you can't really take a lot when you're bike camping. And they have bathrooms. I like that too. And it's right by the creek. It's very nice. Keep it by the creek here. gorgeous just some ideas if you want to do 60 some miles of the whole rail trail there's different places you can stop at so you'll be able to do the whole trail and back if you don't want to use pine pine creek fetters with the driving you can take extra days if you want try to save money with bike riding there you go there's some views of the creek you can see a lot of wildlife across the creek. Hmm. It's nice. And our rain pants off. So I don't think we need them anymore and I'm sweating. But I look goofy guys because look at this. I'm wearing my rain jacket, right? My shorts and my, I don't know if you can see them. Hold on. Let me and my boots with my shorts, so I look goofy. But that's okay, because we are living the outdoors, right, honey? You look cute. <laughs> yeah, me and my fashion. <laughs> right. Look, guys, a snapping turtle. You gotta go find the creek, buddy, so you can catch some fish. What you doing here, huh? Check him out, guys, he is so cool. Just gotta watch, because he can bite your finger off, so you don't want too close to him. Hi, Mr. Turtle. Right now we are in a city called Blackwell and we found the Miller's store. So we're going to go check the store out. Take a little break from the rain. As soon as we took our rain pants off, guess what, guys? It started to rain. I'm going to take my helmet off, honey. This is so. The Miller's store is closed, so we're going to keep going bike riding. In the city of Blackwell, and this is what the city of Little Blackwell looks like. It's nice and small. Time to move on. Guys, it's still raining. I didn't bring my gazelle canopy, so we're using what you call a pavilion. So we drove our Jeep over here. A very nice, did us a big favor. He opened the store up because I forgot my propane cylinder. So one of the owners were so nice, they went in and just added it to my bill tomorrow, but he got me a propane cylinder for our propane grill. I wanted to cook over the fire, but as you can see, there's no strecking way I'm going to cook on the fire in the rain with my rotwort set I'm cooking. So we're going to be in a pavilion. It's a nice pavilion. We're nice and dry. We're going to cook. 
clean up, put it back in the Jeep, drive back to our glamping site and sit on the front porch. They got one person that came here with a bunch of motorcycle people told me it's supposed to stop raining by 8 o'clock, so we'll see if that's what really happens. There he is over there. Yeah, he's a really nice guy. They're going to come under the pavilion too because they're, they're camping in tents. God bless them. They're probably all soaked over there. So there's plenty of picnic tables. Of course, we're only feeding me and Vince, but if they're super hungry, I'll share something if they want some food. But yeah, we're going to stay under the pavilion for a little bit. Right, Vince? <laughs> and then we'll go back to our glamping site. Show you is what we're cooking. So we're making bratwurst, some veggies, and some chicken cream noodle type stuff. We're gonna make these things over here too. So that should be plenty. So the rice aroni will go with the steak tomorrow. With the onions in that, that'll cook up tomorrow because the steak is still frozen. It's not defrosted yet. So it should be defrosted by tomorrow, but these are defrosted, so that's why we're cooking these up. Right, honey? Yeah. This is a nice campground, though. The owners are super nice. We're hoping those lights will come on if it gets dark. <laughs> they should. I think they come on automatically. Maybe they're on a timer. How do you like the mosquito net we're going to sleep under tonight? <laughs> I don't know. It's beginning to bug me. Get it? Bug you? Yeah. Yeah, so we're going to be like sleeping <laughs> in a net. <laughs> Make sure that no bug, if bugs do come in, we're protected. <laughs> Look, there's one right up on the wall. Oh, I thought I killed him. All right, I'll be back. I got to. Oh, my God. Where'd he go? He's right up there. Oh. Okay, we're riding towards Turkey Path. It got a little chilly. So I put my hoodie on and some gloves and we're set. It's about 7.30 in the morning. So we're heading out to the Turkey Path. Okay, we just passed Rattling Rock and Blackwell, and now we're at the Mid-State, there you go, Trail, the New York State Line, Route 287, you gotta go all the way up there. What's on top of them steps, honey? That's the Mid-State Trail. It just keeps going up. And oh, 1.4 miles up is Johnson Cliff. You want to climb it? Are you serious? Yeah, that's a lot of that's a lot of steps. You want to do it? Okay, me and Vince yeah. parked our bikes over there. I'll show you where we parked our bikes. We took the keys out, so they can't ride our bikes without the keys. And if you try to ride the bikes without the keys, it's like riding in mud. <laughs> so we're going to go up these steps. Because we've never done this before. There's no railing. 
So we got to make sure we don't fall down these steps. Now what they should do, an idea, guys, to make us adults get in shape, is you should make a sliding board right next to these steps. So when we're done hiking up, we can go on a slide and slide all the way down. That would be a lot of fun. Right, Vince? That would be fun. Yeah. I'd do it. And then my knees won't hurt going down the steps because that's when my knees bother me. But we got this, right, Vince? Yeah. Where are you, Vince? I don't see you on I'm camera. You. Are we ready to hike? Yep. Here we go. Walked up these steps. Now, it's good to have a walking stick. That's me. Oh, I thought maybe there was a bear in a tree. <laughs> That'd be cool. I'd get us a photo. So we got to the top now. We gotta go up this real big mountain and see where it takes us to. This is the cliff hike, right, honey? Johnson Cliff. Yeah, we're on the Johnson Cliff hike. I am so out of shape, but we're gonna do this. Came from all the way down this mountain. Good thing I got my stick, because we gotta go all the way up that mountain. Well, it's the same mountain, of course, but we're not to the tippy top yet. How you doing, Vince? All right. I've got my stick. Dropped it once, but Vince went down the hill to get it for me. Thank you, Vince. Yeah, I do. Look at the view so far. How you doing, honey, on this cliff hike we're doing? It's all right. We came from all the way down there to the very bottom of the mountain, and it is a very very hard hike for me and we still got to go all the way up there yet but look at the view so far we got Vince it's nice what do you think you like the view so far this view is pretty oh you're handsome here we go so we're still on our hike we got to go all the way up there yet <gasps> whoa let me see oh my lord Of little Alabama, the closer you get, the further I fall. Me and Teresa will be over the edge now. No time at all. <laughs> We're falling faster and faster and faster with no time to crawl. The closer you get, <sighs> the further we fall. We do not want to fall. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> we got this. We're still climbing. All right, we notice there's wires up here, like some of them are dangling, not even hooked to anything. So we have wires throughout this mountain, but anyways, we're still walking up. We don't know how long. We got to be close to the top of the mountain already. We found a bunch of rocks up here, but yeah, we should be getting close. I mean, how big can this mountain possibly be? Oh, hey, honey. Yeah, because we're like pretty high up here. You can't even see the sun shining. Oh, all right. Hey, maybe I'll get cell service up here. More wires. Isn't that weird? So maybe they used to have electricity and they got rid of it up here. Because look at, see how they have them. I'm like, you know. It's just weird. Anyways, we're not to the top yet, but we're getting there. I don't even know if we'll make it to the turkey path climbing this thing, Vince. This will take all day. Oh, the fun part, guys, is going down. That's going to be interesting. Here we go, Vince. Huh. We did it. Great Eastern Trail, Johnson <sighs> Cliff, in honor of Tom Johnson, founding president 2007. <sighs> to 2019 of the Great Eastern Trail Association. I call it the death trail, just saying. Anyways. We did it. We did it. I was gonna give up a few times and Vince encouraged me to keep going. Thank you, Vince. Yeah. And look at that view. I'm on the top of the world looking 
down on creation and the only explanation I can find is the love that I found ever since you've been around. If I'm always at the top. Do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do. Made it all the way back to the bottom of the Johnson Cliff Trail. We did it, Vince! Now, we've decided after doing that trail that we're going to head back to the campsite and go tubing because it got really hot and sunny. So we got overheated. Oh, well, not, not Vince, but me. Yeah, he's, me. he's still dressed for the winter time. Yeah, I don't like But that. I'm hot, so we're going to go back to camp and go tubing. After that, have some steak for dinner and definitely taking hot showers tonight. See you back to the camp. Right, Vince? Yep. We are at the Miller's store in Blackwell checking out different items that they have. They got food and souvenirs and Smokey Bear. How do you like the trip so far? I'm having a real good time with my sweetheart. What are your main highlights we did so far? The bike riding. What are your highlights? My highlight would probably be bike riding and mm, hanging out with my sweetie pie. How about your cliff? Oh, that, that wore me out. <laughs> that hike, oh my goodness. A <laughs> couple times I was going to give up, but Vince said, nope, we got to keep on going. So that's what we did. But yeah, you got to be in shape for that hike, and I definitely was not in shape. But yeah, we got it done. Good. You did good. I don't know what was harder, going up or coming down. They both had their risky moments. But we made it. I prefer going down. <laughs> See, now I prefer going up because I was worried about losing my step. So what are we going to do next? We are going to go tubing with our tube. Yep, we blow it up with our air and go, putting it out in the creek. And we're going to tube right down that creek from this end to the other end of the campground. Then walk it back up again and start all over. Oh, we're doing it twice. Why not? We'll see how long the first one takes. Yeah, all right. All right, and I think our, our tent should be in good shape till we get back. Let's do this. tubing the problem is my butt is on the rock so I have to get my butt off the rock and we'll keep going down the creek <laughs> this ain't cripple creek but we're gonna sing cripple creek for you okay going down the cripple creek going on a run going down the cripple creek to have some fun going down the cripple creek going on a run going down the cripple creek to have some fun we hope you guys enjoyed it oh is that it yeah it was a short one Peter Torch sang it on the monkey Going down the Pine Creek Gorge Creek. Oh, yeah, we can change it. Going down the Pine Creek, going on a run. Going down the Pine Creek to have some fun. Going down the Pine Creek, going on a run. Hi, Birdie. Look at a Birdie. La, 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 la. Birds fly. Those are campsites the down rainbow. there. La, 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 la. Why, Hanging why? down by the creek. Because I'm floating down the river. Now, our tube has a very slight leak in it, but it should last. Oh, my oh. butt. It hit another rock. Oh, I hit another rock. Oh, gotta watch out for those rocks. Down slowly. <laughs> oh. oh, it's a little chilly. <laughs> now we're going backwards. To go all the way down to the beach area oh. of the campground, and we got our tube. And we're going to walk it back to the beginning of the campground where our campsite is. Right, honey? Yeah. Let's do it again. That was fun.
What's for dinner? Filet steak made by my sweetie pie and rice aroni, the San Francisco treat. Chicken flavor. Yummy. Smells very good. <laughs> How's it taste? Even better. Like it? Mm-hmm. So this is the place we stayed at last year, Cedar Run Inn. We highly recommend it. Very nice place to stay at. Then over here is our Cedar Run General Store, but I think they're only open on weekends. But that's a good place to go get ice cream. Hold on, honey. I got to go use the phone booth and make a phone call here. Hello. They may have one. <laughs> so yeah, this is nice. Now we'll, cause we're gonna, we're right now biking towards Waterville, but I wanted to show you this really quick. All right, you ready to move on? Yep. Oh, by the way, we saw our friend Mary E. B. here. They're almost our neighbor at Petticoat Junction. I thought that was really cool. I got to talk to her for a little bit. So cool. It's a small world. That's cool. Wow. That's neat. Oh my gosh, honey, it is just beautiful at this Pine Creek Gorge. Elk Run area. Now, we found another little hiking trail here, but it's getting late. No way we get back before dark. So, that's pretty cool. I wonder where it takes you to. I think it's a trail. I don't know. Looks pretty cool, though. It's beautiful here, isn't it, honey? Where do you see a duck? Right there. I don't see a duck. I see a bunch of ducks. Where? I hear them. Oh, it's Mama Duck with the babies. Let's see if I can focus it. See, she's with her babies. There they are. Oh. It's really pretty out here, honey. So much to see and look at. And I notice it's different in the summer than it is in the fall. Did you notice that with yeah. the landscaping in that? It's very pretty. <sighs> Maybe we'll see a bear in a valley somewhere. Gorgeous. No, we didn't see yet either snakes. Even on our hiking trails, I didn't see no snakes. Saw a turtle. Yeah, a snapping turtle. It's beautiful though. My gosh. So we're not going to go to Waterville because it's too far away. So I think we're going to go, should we stop at Slate Run and turn around or Tomb Flats and turn around? Whichever one you prefer. Yeah. We could even go know. to Black Walnut. Uh, that's gotten it close with our batteries. We'll see because we, this is the second time today we're riding our bikes. This would cut, us, cut it close. Yeah, we can't do camel. Alright, let's just bike ride until my battery's half empty, turn around and head back. Okay, we're at Slate Run down that way. If you go down that little dirt road, you'll see the Wolf's General Store. We forgot our debit card at the tent, so I'm not gonna stop there, but it is down the road. These are access points. This is where we're gonna do a turnaround. I wanna go to where that bridge is down there. Then we'll turn around, honey, because the sunset's gonna happen soon. Came to this bridge. 
That's pretty cool. I think there's no traffic coming. Check this out. It's beautiful here. Look at that. That is gorgeous. It's pretty here, honey. Now what's that over there? Is that a place you can stay at? I wonder what that place over there is. In. All I see is umbrellas. That'd be a restaurant or a bar. I don't know. It's pretty though. Oh, it's beautiful. They say sometimes you can see eagles, but I haven't seen any eagles. And Vince are sitting on a bench for a little bit, have our snacks, and hopefully a bear will come by and we can get his picture. This is a perfect spot for a bear to be at, Vince. You got field, mountains, creek, plus you got lots of pine trees. I hope you share This up. is a perfect spot for a bear to be at. If I was a bear, this is the area I'd hang out in. So we'll just hang here for about 15 minutes and see if a bear will come through. Right, Vince? Mm -hmm. Yeah, hello, Teddy. Don't go away. I want to get your video. You stay right there. Stay there, bear. Don't even move. I got my bear. Oh my god, the bear. I finally got to see a bear. <sighs> I saw about all the videos of this bear, but I didn't think I was ever going to see a bear. Our trip is complete. We got to see a bear on our trip. It took me all the way to end of June to see a bear on this trip. And you know what? I am the happiest person in the world right now. That bear was awesome. Now I got to find other animals. We're at the country store in Waterville, McConnell's Country Store. And this gas station is pretty cool. It's like old fashioned. So you got regular, premium, diesel, and they have an honest system in this area. I love that, that they trust people. So you pump your gas and then you pay. So you don't see that too often. But the store is great. I got breakfast sandwich, Vince ordered, and I'll show you what the store looks like on the way home. And this is in Waterville. I ordered a chocolate peanut butter milkshake. <laughs> Good to know. So this is the store. It's very awesome. I feel like we're back in time. I would love to live in this area. We got cute little gifts back here. Oh, cute stuff. Got books. store it's nice 